Marvin Windows and Doors Aluminum Mole Reinforcement MRF Instructions. The following video is intended as a supplement to the written instructions and assumes the viewer has a high level of competency to perform the task presented. Make sure you read the written instructions thoroughly before field mauling any Marvin window or door. Many of our window and door products are available to order factory prepared for field mauling. In the case that your windows are not prepped for mulling, we will cover all the steps necessary to properly assemble and seal mullions to factory specifications. Marvin uses a standard mull configurations such as the one shown here. All mull configurations are diagrammed with the same rules as viewed from the exterior. The alphabetical label denotes the horizontal row starting with the top. The numerical label denotes the vertical column starting from the left. For example, A1 is always the top left unit as viewed from the exterior. When laying out your assembly, refer to the quote diagram and the corresponding label on the unit. When mulling configurations that are multiple high and wide, such as the one shown here, always mull the direct mulls first. Field prep and corner notching. The first thing to do to prep your units for field mulling is to remove any nailing fin or drip cap that is attached to the frame where a mull will take place. You will also want to remove the drip cap from individual units where a vertical mull will take place. If you have ordered your assembly factory prep for mulling, verify that the correct corners have been notched. Any corner that intersects a mull must have a notch cut out of the accessory kerf. Notching allows for application of the mull cap and frame trim. If the units in your assembly have no accessory kerf sawn into the wood frame members, you will have to do that now. Use a circular saw to cut an eighth inch by quarter inch deep kerf two and a quarter inches from the interior edge of the frame. Attach the mull reinforcement to the frames by first applying a bead of sealant to the framing member. Place the MRF component on the frame. Each component has an alignment leg that fits into the frame wood kerf. The black MRF component is always oriented with the hooked end to the exterior, while the beige component always has the hooked end to the interior. Use the screws provided to fasten the MRF components to the frames. With both beige and black components fastened to the frames, hook the MRF pieces together. Align the frames so they are flush and the ends are even. You may need to tap the frames into place with a rubber mallet. Secure the MRF with 5 8 inch undercut screws through the interior face of the MRF. There are pre-drilled screw holes in the MRF components. Apply frame kerf weather strip in the accessory kerf along all mulls and frame members that run perpendicular to the mull. Roll the weather strip into the kerf with a screen spline roller or similar tool. Apply 3 quarter inch foam backer rod on top of the MRF components. Use the screen roller to seat the backer rod in place. Cut off any excess flush with the end of the assembly. Apply sealant about 2 to 3 inches long on each end of the mall and at any intersections along both edges of the mall. Apply a 2 to 3 inch long bead of sealant on top of the backer rod ends. At frame members perpendicular to the MRF mall, Lightly dent the accessory kerf using a plastic headed hammer. Then apply the A148 frame trim. Seat this with a plastic headed hammer. Next, apply the mull cap by inserting one end into the frame kerf and seating it into place. Fasten the first 6 to 10 inches and then move to the opposite end. 
Fasten the mole cap at the opposite end and continue seating the cap the rest of the way.